Hey, were you super excited when you heard that Kirk Hammett was putting out a new line of guitar pedals? Uh, if yes, hold on just a moment. If no, no, also hold on just a moment. I'll tell you why you maybe should be excited. Hey gang, uh, so I'm holding the KHDK number one. Uh, I'm sure everyone heard that Kirk Hammett put out a uh, new pedal line and is part of the company, which is the KH. Uh, D DK is uh, David Karen, who uh, was a rep at uh, Randall, I think in Artist Relations actually. And now the other reason which uh, is what got me excited is um, the designer of the pedals is Antonin Salva, who uh, you might not know his name, you might have heard of Salvation Mods. So when uh, Eggnator and Randall had put out their modular preamps, um, Antonin and, and his company Salvation Mods was doing amazing uh, mods and amp emulations in that format. Um, so when I heard that he was involved in the making of the pedal, uh, that got me very interested. Uh, so. What this is, it's, a, it's not a clone of any existing pedal. It's a, a brand new design. Um, it is a blend of op amps and uh, MOSFETs for the, um, call it the technology, sure. Um, and uh, Anton had said that they designed it uh, mostly or, or maybe largely uh, into uh, low gain or clean channels of amps. Uh, me personally, um, I kind of thought it was really cool pushing uh, a nice broken up amp or a, or distorted amp just over the edge into uh, hellacious anger. Hellacious anger. I'm using a diesel VH4, um, a Les Paul with a EMG 81 in the bridge into the same single SM57 412 cab. Like I said before, the pedal was mainly voiced using clean amps. Uh, <laughs> using the clean channel on the VH4. I guess the 81 is a pretty hot pickup, so it's coming out kind of a little bit crunchy anyway. Uh, uh, 
yeah. I got the high gain mode on the number one. Just, just kick it in. Happy. Gets a little. Um, that's too much gain. We've we've gone off the deep end and, and rolling down the treble went a little too far there. Let's let's see what happens. Something a little more moderate. Oh, I missed the bottom. Go go bottom. Go bottom. Yeah, more volume, less top, more gain. Respectable in my book. Uh, let's go to low gain setting. Now here's something I, I really like about this pedal. Um, you go from the low gain switch to the high gain switch, and it's really balanced. You don't have to change anything else on the pedal. Most of the other uh, pedals that uh, I've used that have modes. Uh, You'll switch to a higher gain mode or some different mode and your whole thing falls apart. You have to completely change the volume structure, um, which to me, I tend to just lean on whatever one is sort of the loudest, to be honest. Um, it, I don't know. I'm human. It, that's what happens. But this is great. I mean, you've got a... Uh, actually, neck pickup isn't hooked up on this thing, so I can't go to like a bluesier sound here, but... Um, uh, I can switch a guitar. Strat, nothing on. Go to the high gain mode. Uh, there it is. For the solo, I'm using the clean channel on the Marshall uh, Silver Jubilee over there, um, and it's it's pretty clean. All right, hang on. Let me hit the pedal in. Boom. Oh, high gain, lots of stuff going on. It has transformed the clean channel into a really nice solo. That's a really viable lead sound. Uh, not on my game today, guys. 